Charlie Gardner Reserve, the motorbike trip that never was. I carried the bike all the way out there on the back of the van and didn't actually get it off, so stick around. I'll show you where I've been and what happened. <laughs> Just heading off on another trip. I've uh, got the motorbike on the back and heading out to a place called Charles Gardner Reserve. Well, the reserve is approximately five kilometres by three kilometres. Uh, looking at Google Earth, there seems to be a bit of a campsite, so I'll go and have a look at that. Nothing listed on Wiki Camps. Couldn't find a lot of detail. So it'll be a real exploratory one, so looking forward to doing that. get the drone up while we're there and have a look around hopefully there's still some wildflowers around so stick around and we'll see how this trip goes Well, I'm at the base of Mount Stirling and I've just been up there and you'll see the photos of the old church Oh, the flies are friendly of the old church up there and I've just been speaking to a wonderful gentleman Aboriginal gentleman a uh, little bit of history from him on the uh, side up there and mate, if you watch get to watch this video you got my card and I hope you do uh, it was a real pleasure to meet you and I'm glad I did so take care mate and I hope you do get out there and your wife will always be with you so take care and all the best so for the rest of it uh, there's a nice little pull off area here and the no through road the church is only just up up the track there put the drone up flew it over the the rock getting a bit warm so I'm looking for that. I've been to Mount Stirling. This is where I am now. Cocobin Rock, I've flown the drone all over that and I'm going to be doing a video on that, just a, a drone flight one. Carolyn is an old town site um, not far from Cocobin and that's well worth stopping in and having a look at, uh, especially in the cooler months, wildflowers, tons of camping there, nice toilets, everything. So that's Mount Stirling, uh, we'll get on the road and we'll look out for Caroline Gap, that's the next spot. Hopefully you're still with me.
ancient rivers which is near the Caroline Gap. I didn't go all the way it just seemed to be going on and on so 30, oh, 32k so I might go back and come back another time Lockhart River, Salt River, now that was mentioned in another trip I did on uh, Salt Lake um, free camping on a salt lake and that was part of this system as well which is quite interesting the Caroline Gap is part of an ancient drainage system known as the Archean Yilgan Craton which formed three billion years ago at this point the Yilgan and Lockhart rivers converge and all the water from the vast catchment ends up right here and eventually finds its way to the ocean the Yulgarn and Lockhart catchments cover a combined area of approximately 91,000 square kilometres, an area almost one and a half times the size of Tasmania. This trip is turning into quite an adventure. It's not what I'd planned, but it's cool. So. We'll Well, this is an interesting state of affairs. The road's gone, the track's gone that I saw on the map. Uh, lots of wildflowers, but no track. So look, looks like the road's been done or something, but I pushed the bank back up and it on the map it shows it just coming back there but there's nothing there and it should be just in behind here so we'll get up here and have a look and there's the remnants of the old track by the look of it there it is and going off into there but nothing like what it shows or indicates on the map it's been blocked off here I've actually pushed the dirt right up to stop people getting access and the way that track's come through there I'm probably not the only one or is it an animal track? animal track so that was the road I was looking for to get into a campsite. So that's blown that. Lots of wildflowers. Saw a kangaroo coming in. And I think we're going to have to rethink this. It's real funny looking rock or clay. More wildflowers up through there. Let's have a quick sticky. Lens not locked. So I'd say there's been a few tracks in here, but they've all gone. There's another reserve up the road that doesn't have any tracks looking at it, otherwise I'm going to have to replan where I'm camping tonight. I'll get the map out, go and have a look, but I won't be getting the bike off in the near future. So I think that's quite funny actually. <laughs> it's what you call an unplanned adventure. So Rack stayed perfect, really pleased with that anyway. I'll be washing the bikes, covered in dust. But let's get the map out, maybe go up to the Southern Reserve up the road, have a look there, and uh, you'll find out what I've come up with 
shortly, if anything. Well, set up at Tapen Weir, rather than run all the way home, seeing I couldn't camp there. Wasn't much else around, but Tapen Weir is always a nice spot. I've got a few videos on that, so if you have a look back, I've come out here on the motorbike and done a trip, and also done another video just purely on the weir and the camping itself. Grass is a lot longer this time, and quite a few people here, but there's still plenty of spots left. Well, that's the trip. It didn't turn out how I expected. I ended up camping where I didn't expect, and I didn't even get the bike off the back of the, the van, but such is life. Had a great time, met a very interesting gentleman, and thoroughly enjoyed myself. So I'll get out of here before the flies start, get home, get cleaned up. I got some uh, washing of the bike, even though it didn't get off the back of the van, it's covered in dust. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Please give me a comment, thumbs up, whatever. You're welcome to share it on another site if uh, you so wish. I'll catch you next time. Keep shiny side up and keep smiling. Thank you.